Hello, this video is shot for one of our customers on the Tech for Clover website. This video will demonstrate on how to receive a file from us, uh, save and unzip that file into the thumb drive, and then import the thumb drive uh, file into the scale and have the scale set up with all of the items. We've already received the item information and pre-formatted everything. And so you're going to receive an email from me uh, that's going to have a file which is a zip for file so the first thing you want to do is um, you're going to need you know a thumb drive like this uh, mine is an older 8 gig uh, thumb drive but you need one of these and so I'm gonna put that into the computer right and I'm gonna save the file into the thumb drive um, like so. Let's go into the thumb drive. Right. Save. Okay. And now let me just go ahead and open it real quick. Alright, so here we are. We have the USB thumb drive, and this is the file that I've emailed you. Um, so what you want to do now is right click on the file and uh, unzip, actually extract all is the option, extract all and go ahead and extract it into the same uh, zip drive, uh, same thumb drive, the one that you're using and um, keep, it's very important that the folder name that uh, you keep it as a JH scale and don't change it into anything else. All right, and go ahead and extract. And so now you have the zip file that I sent you and you have the folder. So we no longer need the zip file. Go ahead and delete that. And what you should end up with on your uh, thumb drive is a folder that's called JH scale. And in it, there's going to be a file that's called a151.tms. doesn't really mean much to you, but just make sure that you have nothing else on that particular thumb drive. Just that one folder with the JH scale name and the file name a underscore 151 TMS. That's the file that I'm sending you. Uh, and you've seen me sort of extract it uh, from the zip and put the folder here. And that's how in the, uh, that's what I need you to do as well. And then you can go ahead and grab the thumb drive and go to the scale. And I'm gonna show you how to import uh, that file into the scale itself. So on the side of the detector scale, um, this right here, this is the place where you can put in that uh, USB drive. And let's go ahead and flip the scale back. All right, so I have the thumb drive inserted and uh, on the side. And on the scale now, I'm gonna hit program. That's a pro button right here. And I'm gonna press four and I'm gonna press one. And then you'll notice that there's three zeros that appeared right here. And so what I want to do now is enter 151. And that's the name of the TMS file, if you remember that's sitting inside that folder. And then after I've entered 151, I'm going to print IQ confirm. That's the button here. And then just wait. Um, and it's going to do what it needs to do to download all of the item information, which I've already pre-set up. And then you're going to see download finish which means you're done. And you can hit the sale button to go back uh, to the sale mode. And then you can go ahead and remove the thumb drive. Okay, so now let's try it. And let me show you how to use the scale. There's about 40 plus items that I've set up for you. Um, and they're all called plus here on a scale. So I'm gonna put something on a scale like this, right? And I'm gonna say one plus and that's gonna give me the name of my item right here and the price per item. And then I can go two, plu, and that changes the name of the item and the price per item. Three, plu. So basically, the way to look up an item is you put in the number and then you follow by the plu. And like I said, you have about 46 items um, here. So let's go 45, plu. That's your sliced Swiss. Um, and you know, let's say that this is the one that you want and you've looked it up and you have this, you know, thing, uh, slice Swiss placed on the scale. You can go ahead and hit print and this will print the label. 
which will look exactly like this. It will have your store name, your phone number, uh, the name of the item on it. And this will be, uh, the next step is to get this uh, set up on Clover. But as from what I understand, we're not there yet, so we're just going to wait. But this basically gives you this kind of a barcode and the label, which provides all of the information that is needed. Um, so, more, like all of your items except for one, uh, this is the last piece I want to mention, are uh, set up as per pound, and you have one item that's set up with pieces. And I believe it's item 46. I put it the uh, last. So 46 plus. And you'll notice that when you put that in, uh, the weight disappears because this item is not sold uh, in weight. It's sold in inches, right? So to and the scale doesn't know how many inches you have. You have to tell it. So after you've selected this item, what you need to do is press X, right? That's the X right there. And then followed by how many items you have. Let's say you have two. Right, so you're gonna say X2, and then you're gonna print, print, okay? And that's gonna create a barcode that looks like this, that says that you bought two pieces of something, that's 5.99 each, okay? And this one is per pound, you see how it's per LB, and this one is eaches. But uh, 46 items, that all of them are here. Let me just check, 47, blue. Yeah, see how if you go 47, because you don't have 47th item entered. And so if you just import um, using a thumb drive, if you do the same procedure like I showed you on this video, you should be able to now start using your scale.